Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, we're going to be going over my entire collection of Dune books. Now, as we go over this collection, a lot of you are going to be like, Hey, Durfee, my collection's way more dope than your collection, so why are you even showing this off? Well, I'm showing it off just because, um, I particularly like my particular Dune book collection. And I do want to expand it a little bit. So let's get started with the, the best Dune book, and probably one of the, oh, well, well, it's the original Dune book. I have got a couple of copies of it. Well, I've got three copies. Oh, four, if you count the audible.com copy. But this is my favorite copy. This is the one they just released a few years ago. That's just snazzy. It's a collector's edition. It just looks absolutely great. It's got the blue end papers. It's got artwork on the inside. It's just absolutely a... Uh, it's just a killer book. It's a killer book. I'll probably never read this version... It's probably just going to be on my shelf for, you know, aesthetic purposes. And I would really like if the publisher, who looks like it's Ace, Ace Books did this, I'd really like it if they did the other five Frank Herbert Dune novels in a similar style so we can, so us Dune fans can all have just a really sharp looking set. I hope they do that. Don't know if they will. Don't know if there's any plans for it. But if they do, I would buy them all. At least they'd sell one copy of each. So, I also have the original, and we will look at these next, the original six Dune books that I bought as a teenager. These paperbacks. Dune, Dune Messiah. They're all going to fall down. Let's see if we can make it. So Dune, Dune Messiah, Children of Dune, I knew they would fall, I knew they would fall, I just fucking knew it, the God Emperor of Dune, that's a great, that's a great uh, cover illustration by the way, and, and I like all of these illustrations, I really like that cover. That cover is cool. That cover is cool. That one's really spectacular. I really enjoy that. I'll edit the part where I pick these up. Okay, I've picked them up. I edited that out. We've got the Heretics of Dune, another spectacular cover, and uh, Chapter House Dune. Just these two covers are just absolutely gorgeous. And that was the set that I bought when I was a kid, and I still have them, and they look great together on the shelf. One of my more prized possessions. So we've talked about those. Now I also have um, this newer, oh, well at least I caught them that time. Let's see if we can't do this. Okay. So I also have this newer set of Dune novels that they are released, that Ace Books released. I just, I don't know if I like the covers as well. I think they're a little more modern. Um, but I just did want another set just to look kind of cool on the shelf. So these are the trade paperback versions. A lot of you might have these. These are what's most available now. And of course... They do look pretty cool all together like that. So I've got those. Entire Frank Herbert Dune set. I've got this entire Frank Herbert Dune set that I have bought when I was a child. By child, I mean it's probably like 15 or 16. Okay, and then I've got the collector's edition, which many of you have. And it's probably got the best cover of all. So we'll put that there. Now let's talk about some of the uh, 
the other Dune Universe books that were not written by Frank Herbert, that were written by uh, his son Brian Herbert, and my good friend Kevin J. Anderson. So, the first ever book written in the Dune Universe not written by Frank Herbert was um, this one, House of Trades. I think it came out in the early 1990s or mid-90s. And I got the whole trilogy, House Carino, House Atreides, House Harkonnen. Pretty decent covers uh, done by Paul or Stephen Ewell. I can't remember which one of the brothers did it. But they're, they're pretty good. I actually, I actually really like these. I think these are really good space opera adventures. I think the writing style of Kevin Anderson and, and Brian Herbert are, is, a, is a little bit different than uh, the writing style of Frank Herbert. I mean, Frank Herbert has a style all his own, which I love. I think these guys um, did not try to mimic that. I think that they did their own thing, which is fine. And I actually, these are some of the better space opera novels you're going to get out there. And um, my good friend, I think Brian, I think Kevin Anderson signed most of these for me. I think he signed them. Uh, so uh, we'll put these here. Yeah, I think he signed the whole trilogy. I've got several trilogies signed by my friend. Let's see here. And then, of course, we've got um, Sandworms of Dune and The Huntress of Dune, which are the, se the, the direct sequels to Frank Herbert's six Dune novels. These are prequel. These were the prequels. And these were the two sequels to uh, Chapter House Dune. Again, I really liked them. Um, I don't think these ones are signed. No, those aren't signed. So I've got those two. Also great covers done by Paul or Stephen Ewell. I can't remember which Ewell brother did those. And then we've got some way back prequels. And I like these covers too. They, they have different covers and I actually liked these covers better so I got this set I just I think they're pretty cool and I think Kevin Anderson signed these two for me yes so that trilogy is signed also anyway so that is the way back uh, prequel the the Butlerian Jihad the Machine Crusade and the Battle of Corinne um, with just again they look great on the shelf and then last but not least I, I bought these, this trilogy, again, because I liked, I just liked the covers. I thought the covers were snazzy. I was going to keep it just to that, but then the other, about six months ago, I bought these three Dune books. This is also a prequel trilogy of some sort. Don't know anything about it. Haven't read any of them yet. Um, but I did really like the covers, and I wish I, let's see, who did the cover? Stephen Ewell. Stephen Ewell did the covers here, too. So, uh, I guess that answers the question. It was Stephen Yule, not Paul Yule, that did all the covers. So, those are cool, too. I don't know what this trilogy is called. The Machine, let's see, The Navigators of Dune, The Mentats of Dune, and The Sisterhood of Dune. What is this trilogy called? Now I will have to... Um, well, it's not even named here. We'll just call it the Nameless Dune Trilogy. Oh, it's called the, uh, it has no name. It's the Nameless Dune Trilogy. And that, my friends, is my entire collection of Dune books. I realize it's probably average in size to a lot of what you, a lot of you have. Probably some of, because there are a lot of other Dune books that Frank, that Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson have written that I do not have. There's a ton of other versions of the Dune books with different covers and different artwork. I don't have those. There's there's even graphic novels of Dune, but I don't have those. Um, I do own the movie that just came out. I don't own the old stuff. I do not own the original Dune movie, although I have seen it quite a bit of times. But I do own the new one, which I liked. I liked them both. That's my Dune collection. Not much else to say about it other than... Tune in next week or tomorrow for another video.